Welcome to day two. We had a good long sleep last night. Um, slept through fairly well. Woke up around 9 a.m. and uh, just taking the tent down, getting ready for some porridge. And then that will keep us going for day two. Wherever that takes. Mystery. <laughs> and I'm going to show Johnny now how to use a tranja to make some porridge. Very excited, dude. This is the tranja I use. As you can see, whoa, very compact. So this is your little mad handle magoo. And then a little kettle for some coffee. Very exciting. And it comes with two bowls. This lid is actually, well it's a lid and a frying pan which can be quite difficult to use. This is the, the base bit where the actual spirit burner goes. And then this is the windshield. These bits just down. So we're making porridge today, so we're gonna use a bowl and some coffee, so I'll need this. You've got this guy, which is the actual spirit burner. Now these things are actually pretty cheap. I think they're like about a tenner or something. The expense comes from all the other gunk that goes with it. And I think you can actually make these sort of things with a beer can. I've seen lots of um, YouTube tutorials how to do that. It looks pretty cool, but I've never done it and I'm afraid of cutting my fingers on beer cans. So basically, it's this thing. You put the um, methylated spirits, is what we call it in the UK and a lot of other countries. Here it's purple. I don't know why stop people from drinking it. And this is a control thing. So, I would say the wider it's open, the bigger the flame is going to be. I've been told that you don't actually need to have this on in the first place. My friend uses it without it to make it super hot, super quick. But um, yeah, I'd say that's one of the only issues with it is it can be quite difficult to control it because this thing gets really hot. This compared to like gas, like ones like the Pocket Rocket MSR and all that kind of stuff, it's really easy to use but it's a lot slower than those ones. But it's also a lot quieter and methylated spirits are, are widely available in most hardware stores around the world. So that's why we got this one. I'm gonna now fill up some spirit in here and turn it on. So I was just saying this is the spirit. Bartoline methylated spirit. I say you can get it in most hardware stores in Scotland anyway. When you put it in, you'll notice that some of it disappears. I thought it was evaporating, but it's actually just going up the sides, which is how it works. I just didn't realize it. So I'm just gonna fill it up to about um, there because we're making coffee as so. well. Get it on. All you need is a spark. It's not always immediately obvious whether it's on or not. You can see the, there's a like, light blue flame. Again, sometimes it can be quite difficult to actually see if it's on. Once it heats up and the liquid up the side starts to burn, you'll see the, um, the flame start to kind of spit out the side a wee bit and then it's good to go. That's part one, using a tranja. Very important meal for cycling, porridge. Add some water. So, as you can see now, the porridge is boiling. I'm going to put this little ring on it. This is the tool that lets you lift the hot things. I've burned myself on this before, so do use it and don't forget that it's hot. So that will make the heat just a little bit lower. So you can cook some tasty porridge. Got these little spice things from MSR that does it. Super handy. Probably easier for shorter trips because you can fill them up with stuff you got home for longer trips. If you buy extra spice, then you're just gonna have that whole container thing, but I suppose you could keep it in your bags and then keep this in a more handy place. But I'm gonna add some salt and some cinnamon to this porridge. So it's tastier than just porridge. Always double check it's cinnamon and not paprika. Top tip. Mmm, smells good. So, 
So that is almost ready. So in general, they sort of say that one of the hardest things to boil and that takes the longest is water. So that's usually the test of how quick these camping stoves work. The Tranja full heat would take about 10 minutes to boil water. So about way, way slower than some of the other kind of um, um, gas canister ones, which are kind of like jet fuel ones. <laughs> But um, we're in no, we're in no hurry. We're just relaxing, enjoying the scenery. And to make the coffee, I've got this Aeropress, which has become quite popular in the last few years. Super easy to use, super light. Ah! And um, so basically, you've got this filter, and then an actual like paper filter thing that goes in the bottom. You can use the filters over and over again, or I do anyway. And then coffee goes in, usually lots, because I like a strong coffee. And then once your water is hot, you pour it in. You need to have a cup underneath, otherwise it's just going to go everywhere. You fill it up to about what you want, so I've got quite a lot of coffee in. And there's two of us, so I'll probably fill it up to about number three. And then you just push down slowly, and the pressure of the air, AeroPress, will bring the coffee down and it's very quick and very tasty. I think it's the same people that make those frisbees, the aerobi. Good things to make. Frisbees which bring people joy and coffee which also brings people joy too. What a joyful company. I've got this wee mug, this travel mug thing here and that just slots right in. This is, this is the situation we've got here. Johnny, now you got your porridge. Success. <laughs> Porridge, breakfast, a good way to start any bike trip. Look at that. Mmm. So we just uh, had breakfast with our Tranja. Very cool piece of kit. And we're going to now um, head up along the road and see how our bodies are feeling and how much further we're going to go because there's no point fishing if you're going to injure yourself. So hopefully things will be fine and we can continue on. But we're, um, we're just heading up now towards. Clara, which is just next to lock up, and then we'll see how things go. Hey Johnny, what's going on? We're in a train station. Yeah? Waiting for a train. Yeah. How long have we got to wait? Two to four hours. <laughs> we missed the one o'clock train, which we didn't know was the last train until later. <laughs> till later. <laughs> so yeah, we're in Dalmally in this very nice little train station, which has a cool dog and some weirdos over there. And um, then we're gonna go and find a pub nearby, have a few beers while we wait for the train. We just had an amazing lunch. The classic, classic dish. What was it, Johnny? Couscous and beans. Couscous and beans. You heard it here first. It's delicious. All right, that's everything for now.
Sometimes a hero walks among us. Sometimes a hero is one of us. Here he comes, carrying the beer for the train. I hope we get on the train. Here's the hero. Train to Glasgow. Should be there in about 20 minutes or so. And then we cycle, bike to flat, drop the bags, quick shower, heading out for some apparently the best pizza in Glasgow. Ryan said to quote on that, so we'll see. Hey, it's, it's, it's us. Hey! It's it's G back in Glasgow, as you can maybe tell, we just had a big pizza. Pizza good, good times? Really good. Good time pizza. If you're in Glasgow, get the... What's it called? Paisano. <laughs> Paisano. That's just my Paisano. name. <laughs> you just said my name, plus added some other stuff onto it. Okay. Um, yeah, and now we're, we're heading for... Heading for... A wee, a wee drink in the pub, but... Yeah, got the train back. We're now rested, showered, and... Happy to be back in the big city. Yeah. Where we belong. <laughs> so, thanks. Thanks for everything. <laughs> That's all for now. Bye bye.